Oh, I have a minor obstacle ahead. Finally at the Perea. Yay! Look at that. Looks great. Now I just need to get down there. Cows, move. Move on down the river. I'm in one of my favorite sections along the Priya River. And a little known fact that after the Trump administration downsized Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, that this right here is no longer protected. That over there is protected. That over there is protected. But this right here is no longer part of the National Monument. They actually purposely created a 50-foot corridor along the Priya River that is not part of the monument. Why would they do that? Well, there's really only one reason. The county would like to make a road through here. A road possibly to carry coal because another part of the monument that was eradicated is very rich in coal, a place that they would like to make a coal mine. So isn't that great? Through this beautiful country, we'll have mining for coal, old technology, and coal trucks driving payloads of coal up and down this beautiful stretch of the Prairie River. It's a shame. It's a real shame. Let's hope it all stops before it goes any farther. This is a fairly common sight out here. It's pretty sad. You know, even though it's a national monument, the leases for grazing and raising cattle were grandfathered in, so ranchers can still raise cattle here. But it's really not not only the environment, it's just not good for the cattle. Actually stopped raining for the last 45 minutes or so, and uh, it's been nice, but, uh, from the looks of that, it looks like another one is on our tail. So uh, let's see if we can get somewhere good before it hits us. And another dead cow. Just not a good place. Sorry, cows. You guys need a better home. Someplace better for you guys. Lone Rock, day 15. Well, the next wave of that storm caught up with us. I'm here under an alcove trying to wait it out. I don't know if it's gonna work. Gotta keep moving, but I was tired and there's just no sense in taking a break out there in the rain. This might be the hardest it's rained all day, but hopefully it won't last too long. We'll see. Crack, pipe, spring. Still one of the best water resources around. And it's obviously been used by a lot of people for a long time based on all the cowboy glyphs around here. What a difference a day makes. Sun popped out this morning and it's just, it's glorious. Got all my stuff dried out and I uh, got a little solar power going. So hopefully the batteries won't get totally depleted. I was getting pretty close there for a while. Right now we're doing a little side hike up to see a cool balanced rock in a slot canyon. All right, here we go. Korea definitely looks muddier today. Finally made it to the weird balanced rock above the Perea. I've passed this guy by so many times, but this time I finally tracked him down. How does that stay up there? I don't get it. Pretty cool stuff. 
awesome feature. And now up here scampering through these uh, sand dunes, trying to find this slot canyon. I think I'm getting close. Saw some people on horseback in the distance back there and it was the first people I'd seen in uh, almost three days. Okay, I think, I think we're getting close. I think we have to get down over there. I think we're getting close. Approaching Red Slot. It's pretty cool. Oh, have a minor obstacle ahead. I'm sure we can get by this guy. <laughs> okay, minor obstacle might be an overstaying that because that wasn't too hard to get around. Oh, what a canyon. cool chamber. Looks like this is the end of Red Canyon. Pretty awesome place. It was narrow all the way up until this point. It opens up into this just great chamber. Okay, headed back out. Back out into the sunlight. Good little canyon. Definitely worth a visit. Give it a thumbs up. Here we go. Back out into the bright light. Yay! We are free. Now back to the Puria. These petroglyphs near Deer Creek are pretty faded and hard to see, but they're really unique. They look more like Mayan than anything else I've ever seen around here. Check it out the cool pictograph panel in Deer Creek. Check it out. Stretches along this whole wall. Some cool stuff. Always been amazed by these handprints. So cool. Does that represent one person in the tribe? Or is it one person just being creative? Generations, maybe? It's pretty cool. Once upon a time, someone tried to cut this guy out and take him home. Luckily, they did not succeed. And lots of cowboy glyphs, too. Ah, oh, this one makes me sad. I made a joke about Prince last time I was here, about 12 years ago. Long before Prince died. Cows. Still don't like me being here. This guy's growling at me over here. Goes. At the confluence of Kitchen Canyon and the Perea. Kitchen runs red, Perea's running white, or running gray. I've shot this before where the Kitchen Canyon there on the left was the more silty of the two. Today I'm not so sure, but they're both really silty. Day 16, still walking along the Perea. We're in the park with the uh, colorful Chinle Hills. It's the same geological formation you'll find in the Pena Desert. Some of these are the most colorful around. They're awesome. They're not moving. They're just like locked. 
You're glitching the matrix. Hmm. Final sun popping out. Pretty amazing sundown as I'm still walking along the Priya River. I'd like to make it a little bit farther. I'd like to be right down there before I make camp. So gorgeous. I'm at the old Perea town site. This area was settled almost uh, about a hundred years ago by a bunch of farmers and uh, that didn't work out too well. So they actually moved out and a mining community moved in. That's what the ruins are here that you see still today. And actually that didn't work out too well either. So after about 30 or 40 years, this place was totally abandoned and is now just a ghost town. So these ruins are actually left over from the Spencer mining camp. There's a few other scattered ruins, but this building here is definitely the one that's in the best shape of all of them. Take a look in through the window. Oh, hey, a sleeping bag and mat. Looks like someone is making a uh, temporary residence from this place. Looked like they had maybe a cellar or something over here. Pretty cool area. Now, all of this is not to be confused with the movie set. Actually, they filmed several popular westerns here. But that was over there across the valley. Actually, the old original movie sets went away a long time ago. And then there was a reconstruction that was washed away by a flood, and then a new reconstruction that was actually burned down by a suspected arsonist. So unfortunately, there's nothing at all left from the Perea movie sets or the recreations. It's still a great area, though. It's worth a visit if you ever get a chance to come out here. If nothing else, just for the Chinle Hills, they're so colorful. Kind of an amazing sight.